Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick AME 004 titled Moving Connected Positions on MV Parts in MEP 2010. The purpose of this Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, please contact customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer dot services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found also on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we're issuing tips and tricks for all our desk products as well as the one you're about to watch. So let's get started. What you see on the screen is a multi-view part of a flush toilet. Now majority of the parts within the, the database, the connectors are on absolutely fine. Some of them however, in this case the toilet that you see there, the solve connection is coming out of the bottom of the toilet, which in the UK is probably not the way it's going to be. What we need to do is we need to make a slight modification to this part, and so to connect, add the connector onto the right position. First thing we need to do is we need to go into our Manage tab on the ribbon, and then we're going to go to Content Builder. Once we're into the Getting Started screen, we need to find the part that we need to change, in this case the flush tank toilet. And then we're going to actually modify the part size. Along the top here, we're going to choose connectors, and then down here, we're going to find our toilet and the connector to which is the waste. Right click on that and edit placement. Here we can see our connector down here in red. What we need to do first is move it. So we're just going to click on the position, which allows us to move it along here. So I'm just going to click on the snap here. Get to the middle, and then we're going to again just move it slightly, and then you can move it up a set amount. In this case, just 65, which positions it. So, what we need to do now is rotate it the right way, which is the, the normal. Click on that, select our base point, which will be the base of here, and then just point this out and snap it to 180. Once we've got it in position and the right way around, all we're going to do is just click on OK. And then once we're finished, just click out of the wizard. And there we are. Now this part here is still as it was, so we just delete that. And then we go back to home, click on equipment and then add another part in select this one and now we can see the connected position has been moved and that's it okay i hope this uh, tip and trick has been useful and look out for more to come in the near future thank you